Hello and welcome, it's Graham here for I Love QC. Today I'm going to show you how to use our 3D Supercharger plugin to add this 3D city scene to Final Cut 10. Our 3D Supercharger is the first plugin of its kind that allows any 3D model to be loaded directly into Final Cut 10, which gives you the opportunity to add a whole new level of wow factor to your edits. So let's get down to it. Starting with a fresh project, I'm going to go to the generators, solids and bring in just a grey scale. I'm going to work at 720. Feel free to use whatever project size you want. I know we only want this to last about 4 seconds, so I'm just going to shorten down this slug. Next I open the effects, I love QC, and pick 3D City V2, dragging and dropping it onto our grey slug. And boom! Here we have a full 3D scene ready to be animated. Let's pop open the inspector if it's not already open and have a look at the settings we have. Firstly, the text box. It's the location of our 3D model. We can load another 3D model into this scene by deleting what's here, ensuring you leave the cursor active in the text field, then grab a model from the finder and drag and drop it into the blank text area. I'll put the cluster building back in to continue. The X center, Y center and pace sliders control the position of the model in 3D space. The mode button is new in V2 and adds shadows in some versions of OS X. Click it and see what you get. Finally we have Bloom. This adds a nice glow to the windows of the city. You can turn it off for a less stylized look. Ok so that's the basic settings. Let's add some keyframes to recreate the camera move in the intro to this video. With the footage selected, we use semicolon to jump to the start of the clip. You can play around with the sliders to find the start position that you like, but I'm going to hit keyframe for the X center and enter 0.95, keyframe for the Y center and 0.64, same for the pace setting it to 0.75. Then I'll go to the last frame to set a final position apostrophe is the keyboard shortcut. Click to set a keyframe for X and my final position I'm choosing is 1. Click to set for Y and I settled on 0.62. Click again and 0.9 for Z. Wait a brief second while Final Cut renders and then we can play it back. To me this looks great, but it's quite fast moving, so I'll show you how to slow everything down a little. I'm going to click and drag out the length of our grey solid. Hit apostrophe to go to the end of the new length, and then in the inspector set keyframes for all three sliders. Then we can use the little back button to find our previous keyframes and delete the three of them. This leaves us with just a keyframe at the start and the end. And here we go. I think this is a great look. The 3D Supercharger plugin is available now on the I Love QC Marketplace. Drop us a line with any questions or feature requests. Until next time, happy editing.